Lee Spiegel for the win. Strength is the productive application of force. What does that really mean? You're not dependent upon a certain implement in order to be able to do something that's heavy, period. This girl is amazing. And that's the beauty of sandbag. <laughs> if you're wedded to your barbell, if you're, if you're wedded to your lifters, if you're wedded to the, the rubber mat that you're on, all those things in the end become a crutch. Bring it out. Can I apply myself to the task at hand? Yes or no? That's going to be more definitive of the strength that we're looking for. And so that's going to show up a bunch of different ways. That's going to show up with a nicely balanced barbell that you can practice this perfect bar path. It's not always going to show up that way though. It's going to show up some other ways where you've got something that's awkward, you're fatigued, can you still get the job done? At the end of the day, it's all about application. Can I apply myself to the task at hand? Yes or no? So CrossFit's definition of strength is the productive application of force. And what I love about finding new ways to test strength is that there are so many old ways to test strength that have existed. So there's so many different things that you can draw from to play at the CrossFit Games with the fittest athletes. I think a lot of athletes have become extraordinarily well prepared for barbell lifting. But the reason that we use Olympic lifting and power lifting and CrossFit is to build a general capacity that could also be applied in many, many, many different forms. And so the sandbag will test athletes' strength, but also their ability to apply strength in a new way. Almost there. And Wells has it. Oh, I like the sandbag test because it's not, it's not what athletes are going to want to see as a, as a strength test, and that's okay. And I think that's the key word is that, hey, you train on a barbell to get strong so that you can do other things. And this is one of those other things. Take that odd thing, can you get it there? Can you wrestle with this bag? And you'll see that as we get to like the heavier weights, first couple, no problem, they're gonna be popping them up. As we get closer to the top end, it, it is gonna be a one man wrestling match with that thing. It's gonna be a lot of grit. It's gonna take a lot of that more conventional barbell training and seeing what's the gap between perfect condition and something that's a little less so. Productive application of that force is what's important and how small that gap is between potential and what can you show me, that's what we're trying to test here.